Good afternoon and, and thank you. I'm going to talk today about AI and autonomy. Next slide, please. Okay, so today AI and automation is all about the platforms. And you've seen um, quite a bit of this already today. Um, there are unmanned aerial vehicles, unmanned underwater vehicles, unmanned ground vehicles, and I've worked on, uh, I've worked on one of these already. And um, one of the big challenges here, and you've also heard a lot about this today, is um, how AI is used in these platforms. And one of the big challenges and one of the big areas where it's being used is in perception. Interpreting sensed information. And today's key challenge is really, or one of today's key challenges, is really thinking about assurances, proofs that you can make about, about safety, about performance of those systems when you have this learning-enabled component in the control loop operating in environments in the wild. Today's research, what we're doing today and what we're, we're starting to work on, I believe now or in the near future will help us solve some of these assured autonomy problems. We're working on, we and other groups are working on, for example, safety certificates, which incorporate models of the system as well as distributions of data, distributions of training data. Um, and we're, we're looking at tools that integrate those and tools to improve those. These will work in the near future. They'll work for structured environments like operational design domains. Um, they'll work with, um, in collaboration with trained people who work with these systems and who understand these systems. These are the robots of Carol Capek of the 1920s. These are the robots that are designed to work on dull, dirty, dangerous, and, and dear systems. But these are systems that are components of bigger systems. They're the pieces of a bigger system. They're trained on existing data or trained on past data. And as regular people start to use them more and more, people will adapt their behavior. They'll change their behavior. And these systems are not static. So if we go to the next slide. I believe that AI-based autonomy needs to be designed from the ground up to work closely with people, to work in these AI-human partnerships. If we're really going to think about changing the world with AI, we need to think about how AI and how automation works closely with people, and then kind of extend that to teams of people and teams of vehicles. Um, so teams of robots working together. So if we think about human-robot teams, and we think about some of the technologies that need to come together to work in this area, um, we can think about like systems, so car driver system, air taxi pilot system, many cars and many drivers, humans working collaboratively with robots to solve some challenges. And we can build on what human-human teams do. Um, how humans build internal models of how our collaborators think. And then we build models and then we use these to kind of predict what might happen in different situations that hadn't arisen yet. Um, we communicate with each other more and more succinctly as we learn more about each other. So we'd like a kind of paradigm for human robot teams where they react when the specifications aren't clear. We'd like to have these kinds of robot rangers that we've heard so much about. We know that innovation happens when different kinds of people come together and they challenge the way of currently doing things. And I think that the future of human robot teams and of AI partnerships really depends on us being able to design autonomy that incorporates these paradigms. Thank you.